the bucket wheel excavators of this class, which is 240,000 cubic meter per day of coal, they are the largest land-based, fully mobile machines in the world. And so it excited me to attempt to build the world's largest Meccano model of the world's largest moving land-based machine. It started to decline in the 1960s with the arrival of Lego and particularly overseas with the arrival of television, colour television and then further decline took place with the arrival of the computer and computer games for youngsters where they could achieve instant gratification as opposed to spending hours trying to solve problems and achieving uh, a result from that, a workable result from that. Uh, that what, so one finds that many members of the clubs from those days went into engineering fields or they were very capable of, of solving problems even though they weren't engineers, such as working on motor cars. To build the model, basically what I had to do was to get a lot of pictures off the internet like these that you see in front of you here and by making measurements on the pictures, on the photographs with a ruler to calculate the um, ratios of the various uh, parts of the machine. Um, that's because I did not have the uh, actual plans of the machine. I calculated that I've drilled about a million holes into all of these plates. Um, if you stack that one on top of each other, it's about a kilometer of drilling, a kilometer deep hole drilled into mild steel, which is quite a thing to ask your little domestic uh, drill press over there to do. Um, there is a whole industry of people making their own parts, um, be it gears, be it plates, nuts, bolts, washers. Throughout the range, there's people out there making equivalent parts. And people do generally feel that as long as it looks like a Makana part, it pretty much qualifies as being a Makana part. Yeah, here we are. If you want to go and have a look at the very back there. <laughs> 